How's it going, everyone? My name is Where Don't Care My Name Is, and here we go with my wrestling review for NXT TakeOver Portland. Ah, I gotta tell you, this, this was an amazing show. Without question, NXT once again stole the whole freaking night. Just the matches, the way it was all set up, and how much effort the talent here put into their matches. This is what is missing from WWE. Just the, the fact you're invested in the show. The fact you're invested with the matches and the talent involved. And there's just so much drama going on to the point you're really, you really do care what happens. You really want to see who's going to win this whole thing. And man, it, it was just a great night. Without question, a great night for NXT. So let's start off with the first match of the night. Keith Lee defending his North American Championship against Dominic Dijakovic. Hopefully I said his last name wrong, uh, right. This was a good opener because these two guys, these two big hoss, just went out there and just hit each other with everything they've got. Keith Lee hitting a head scissors, uh, Dominic just doing a uh, springboard sent onto the outside. Oh my god, that was such a dangerous spot. And a poison, uh, no, a Spanish fly from the top rope. I'm like, these guys just hit each other with everything they've got. And they just, they just killed it. The crowd was loving every minute of it. I was extremely happy for Dominic. You know, Dominic did a fantastic job with this show. And this performance he get, went out there against the veteran, uh, Keith Lee. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, Dominic is no slouch. He's been doing this for... You know, seven years, but against a guy who's been doing this for 15 years, uh, no question about it. Keith Lee made Dominic look like a star. Dominic looked great. Both guys just killed it. Congratulations to both guys. Now, Keith Lee won the match. He did retain his title, but I have no doubt these two guys will go at it again, and I hope so, and I hope Dominic gets a good push after this. Next match of the night is Dakota Kai versus uh, Tegan Knox in a street fight. This was this was a good match. This was not as great as the first match, but this was a good match between these two women. Uh, they hit each other with every sort of weapon you can use in this match. Chairs, a uh, single board cane, trash can, uh, a chain as well, and a uh, cricket as well. Yeah, they used a cricket weapon. Don't be surprised. But yeah, both these women did a great job going out there and having a good match. And the crowd definitely got behind these two ladies, uh, especially Tegan. They really got behind her. Now, it looked like Tegan was about to win the match. She was going to put uh, Dakota through a table. But we had the debut of Raquel Gon uh, Gonzalez. Uh, she came out, interfered in the match. She choke slammed uh, <laughs> Tegan right through the table from the top rope. Uh, Dakota gets the win. And it looks like uh, Dakota and Raquel are now... I guess a team, or she's going to pretty much look out for Dakota. Either way, a good match. And I agreed with my friend when we were watching this together. He thinks this is good for Dakota. She should get this push. And I agree. I think Dakota got winning this match was a good thing. And hopefully uh, she does well with it, with this push. Uh, next match of the night is Finn Balor versus Johnny Gargano. This, I said this to my friend, that you can tell in a wrestling match two guys or two gals that know each other so well just the way they move just the way they're able to counter one another just the way they're able to uh go out there and tell a story and that's pretty much what we ended up getting from this match because these two men went out there counter after counter hitting each other with some of their best moves each one selling for the other but more importantly each one able to counter their finishers and hit something else and just Get the crowd invested in this match. And that's what we got from this match. These two guys went out there. They told a story. They showed how much they hated each other. They went out there, hit some of their best moves. They hit their finishers, but they were unable to put the other away. Lock in submission holes, but the other one kept getting out of it. Good match between these two guys. I love how this went. They went out there, gave the crowd a great performance, and even hit each other with some of the best moves they could give. But in the end, Finn Balor got the win. Congratulations to Finn. I thought Johnny should have won this, but I agree with my friend. I think now with Finn getting the win, he's going to definitely push himself to the NXT title. He could end up winning it, or maybe maybe we'll 
see how things go down the line. But for right now, Finn got the win. Congratulations to him. Uh, next match of the night is Rhea Ripley defending her NXT Women's title against Bianca Belair. Let me say this about Bianca. She has come a long way since she made her debut in NXT. And especially after her first uh, women's title match against uh, Shania Baszler. She has improved so much. She's really gotten the crowd behind her. The charisma coming off of her and the way she's been able to perform in the ring. Especially from uh, from her War Games match, Survivor Series, and then of course the Royal Rumble. She did a fantastic job here tonight against Rhea. She went out there, showed what she could do. The crowd was really behind her. They were behind uh, Ripley. Both these women went out there. They gave it everything they had. And I, I will say this. I think Bianca, she is ready to become champion, but not right now. Rhea, I'm glad she kept the title and she is still the champion. And But right down the line, we will see Bianca become champion. I guarantee it. Uh, after the match, we saw Charlotte Flair came out and attacked Rhea and then later attacked uh, Bianca after she was done. But she later announced that at WrestleMania, she will fight. Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's Championship. So for the first time ever at WrestleMania, the an NXT title will be defended at WrestleMania. That is huge. That is a great opportunity for the NXT talent to continue showing the fans what they are capable of. But for right now, it's just the women's title. I'm happy for that. Rhea needs to win this. She needs to win this big because if she loses the title to Charlotte... Her momentum is going to die down the same way they did with Asuka. So, she needs to win this. She needs to keep the title. She needs to put it over WrestleMania. And Charlotte needs to put her over along with the NXT Women's title. And show how much important it is to win that title. Next match of the night, it is the Undisputed Era, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Defending their tag team titles against the uh, winners of the Dusty Rosa Classic Tournament. The Browser Wait, uh, Matt Riddle and Pete Dunne. First of all, I love Matt Riddle and Pete Dunne as a team. Just the difference uh, personalities between these two, just working together and facing off against the Undisputed Era. I love it. This was a good match. This was a good physical match. Uh, it was back and forth. These two teams hitting each other with everything they've got. Uh, a lot of counters. A lot of you know accidental uh, partners hitting each other and almost costing the other the win. But the match kept on going. There was a lot of great near falls. I love the fact that they really were putting over the Broser weight and the Undisputed Era, hitting them with some of their best moves. But in the end, either they kicked out or got a shoulder up or someone got involved. Either way, great spot. There was one actually that was one of my favorites was when they were able to lock in a submission hold on the uh, on their opponents on the, the the Undisputed Era, lock in their holds on the Broser weight. Uh, Riddle was able to free his partner after hitting uh, one of the members of the Undisputed Era with a knee. And then, of course, uh, Pete Dunne was able to save his partner uh, after jumping off the top rope and landing on, I think it was Kyle O'Reilly's hands. Either way, good match. In the end, the Broser Waits won. They are the new NXT Tag Team Champion, so that was a good uh, move right there. So congratulations to the guys. Uh, this was Pete Dunne's second title win in, in, in uh, WWE. And this is Matt Riddle's first title win uh, since he got there. So congratulations both guys. Uh, the Undisputed Era losing all their gold. Uh, it's leading to them going to leave NXT. It's going to be sad when that happens, but it's going to happen. So now we get to the main event. It is Adam Cole versus Tommaso Ciampa and for the NXT Championship. This... Oh my, I think I agree with my friend. This was definitely the best match of the night, mostly because of the fact that while all the other matches we had a lot of dramas, we had a lot of personal rivalries against each other, this one there was more, more personal, more, uh, uh, it was more personal because look what, what led to this. Champa had to vacate the title last year due to a neck injury. He had to vacate it. He had to leave the title behind because he had to have surgery. Adam Cole won the title. So Champa, since he got back, kept saying that you didn't beat me for the title. You you only have the title because it was taken from me. But I'm coming for it. I'm coming for it back. I'm fighting for it. This is my life. I am not going to give up until I get that title back. So there was a lot of drama going on into this. And there's a lot. And you can feel it. You could feel it throughout this whole match. How important this felt to Champa. How 
how much the fans got behind him. Remember, this guy was one of the most hated guys in NXT. And then, when he got back, crowd loved him. They fell in love with Champa. He came back and became the hero. So, this was really important. This was a great match between these two guys. A lot of near falls. I mean a lot of near falls to the point where I'm like, how the hell did he kick out of that? Oh my god, they keep on going. Oh my god, I want to see this continue going on. This was a great match. These two guys went out there. They gave it everything they had. They went out there and just beat the holy hell out of one another. Whether it was fighting in the ring or whether fighting on the outside, the referee getting knocked out, and Speed Era getting involved, near falls after near falls after near falls. It was just amazing and so close. Every single time these guys just kept hitting each other with everything they had, but in the end, it was not the Undisputed Era to help Cole retain the title. It was not even Cole to help retain his own title. It was a shocking ending here, which I actually didn't see coming. So, uh, Champa. Uh, saw his partner Johnny Gargano coming out. He uh, was going to grab the title, use it on Cole, but Johnny took it away. Now, at first, I thought Johnny was going to tell him, no, 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 you need to win this right. Do not stoop to the level. Beat him right, and you win the title. I thought that's the direction they were going to go. But instead, what ended up happening, what ended up happening is Johnny hit Champa with the title. He turned heel. He turned on his friend. And I was shocked. The crowd was shocked. We couldn't believe that happened. Because why would he turn heel? And my friend's telling me, well, he, he was just luring him to believe that we're friends again, that they forgive each other. But I'm like, yeah, but I'm like, they did team up again. Why would he do that again? Why would he screw him over? It would make more sense for him to, to win a title so that he can take it off John, uh, Champa. But evidently not. That's not what they did. So uh, Champa gets hit with the title. Cole gets the pin, and he retains the title. So, Adam Cole, baby, still your NXT champion. So, congratulations to Adam Cole on retaining the title. I gotta admit, I didn't see that coming. I was very surprised, but yeah, he's still the champion. And by the time we get to the final takeover before WrestleMania, he'll most likely have that title by 308 days. So, I hope that happens. Before he leaves, and I hope he goes out in a blaze of glory. But for right now, yep, Adam Cole's still a champion. So, yeah, to recap, the North American title match, good way to start the show. Dakota and Tegan, street fight, good match. Uh, Finn and, jo and Johnny's match, a good physical match between these two guys. The NXT women's title match with Rhea and Bianca, good match. The NXT tag team titles, Brozer Waits defeating the Undisputed Era, great match. Main event, Great match. Awesome work for everybody. They all deserve the praise and very happy with this. So, yeah, this was yet another successful show. I am not going to check out the Super Show. I think it's going to suck. I'll wait till Elimination Chamber. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have a different opinion about this, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my Facebook page. Check out my Twitter page. And uh, check out the, the uh, three media uh, channels as well. Subscribe to their channel. Keep up to date with their videos as well. And I will see you all next time. We give you more love and more entertainment. So until then, guys, take care and see you all next time. And have a good night. Bye.